Hey artists, Miss Kit Lang here, and I'm back with your second assignment. For your first assignment, you created three selfies, right? You did the assignment, right? Good. You used photography to create a self-portrait. For your second assignment, you will be doing a self-portrait drawing. Now don't freak out. I know that can be a little scary, make your skin crawl, but self-portraits don't have to look just like you. They don't have to be super duper realistic. You can create more of a character or a cartoon of your likeness. I have a step-by-step -step easy way for you to create your own cartoon character of yourself. And I also have some great resources from my art teacher friend, Miss Eddington in the US. So let's have a step-by-step -step way for you to create your very own character of yourself. Okay, artists, for this assignment, you need an eraser, a pencil, probably a sharpener if necessary, and just a piece of paper. Printer or cartridge paper will work too. If you have a sketchbook, you can do that as well. Um, it's up to you if you want it inside your sketchbook or have it as a separate work of art outside of your sketchbook. Options is, is yours. So to start with our self-portrait, we are creating a bust of ourself, which means it's only from our top of our head, just past below our shoulders. Make sure you're thinking about uh, planning your space out. I will create the drawing in uh, a portrait style. This is actually called portrait when you have your paper standing up. And this is called landscape. Because we're doing a self-portrait, it makes sense to have our paper um, going the portrait way. So when you're planning out drawing, think about uh, how to fill the paper. You don't wanna draw a teeny tiny little head. You wanna think you've got enough space for your head here, for your hair, for your shoulders. You can use your magic finger to kind of plan out where things are gonna go so you know what to do when you start with Mr. Pencil. Gotta use magic finger before you use Mr. Pencil or Mr. Finger's gonna poke you in the nose, boink. Start with a U shape, drawing lightly so we can erase. Mistakes are okay, but do yourself a favor and don't push hard, hard, hard while you're drawing, lightly. See how I'm holding my pencil? I'm almost using the side of my pencil. I've got my U face, now I can add my ears just on the side. Remember, it's not super realistic. We're going for just simple shapes and lines. To draw my neck, I draw two kind of straight lines coming down below where my chin is. Now you don't want a really super skinny neck or a crazy meaty fat neck, so kind of do it in between. And then shoulders, kind of slope down off to the side. All right, third step, we're gonna work on our hairline. So everyone's hair is a little bit different, so I have a side part, so I'm gonna swoop my hair from over this way, swoop my hair over the other way. But up to you if you want yourself to have bangs, a middle part. Uh, I'll show you in some of the examples from Miss Eddington of different ways you can do hair. Then you wanna do the top of your head, and my, I'm wearing my hair down today. Wavy beach waves. Gonna add some of my hair. Now my hair goes all the way behind my shoulder, so I'm gonna have it come down. And I'll erase that line later. Okay, on to our eyes. Again, lots of different ways to draw your eyes. You can do simple kind of circles. You want to do your eyebrows, you, different ways to show expression with their eyebrows. A nose can be like a simple kind of curved line at the end, a backwards L. And for mouth, again, I'm going to go with something simple, but you can have a smile, you could be shouting, be yelling. So just a simple, almost emoji of yourself a cartoon kind of character. Now I have freckles and I always wear earrings and I usually am wearing some kind of funky top so I can always go and add more. Um, so let's speed it up and I'll show you what else I add for my own self-portrait. Okay, so that's a good first attempt. If you want to do more than one, go for it. We know as artists, our first drawing or our first attempt, our first draft isn't always our best. So go ahead and do a couple different ones, different hairstyles, different ways to do the eyes, different facial expressions. 
The next step to this assignment is then outlining this drawing and going over your pencil with a black marker. We've done this a lot in art class, so you guys have done this before. See what you have at home. If you don't have a black marker, a Sharpie, or a zebra marker, or even a Crayola black marker, you can use a ballpoint pen, or sometimes you might find these thinner markers. It's up to you, use what you have. It's just to make those lines of your portraits a little bit more bold and thicken those lines up again, up, up a bit more, so you can just see your drawing a little bit more clearly. Right, so I'm gonna trace mine, but I'm gonna speed things up. So there we go. Again, I encourage you to make more than one because you might find out that your second, third, or fourth is your favorite. So simple materials, use what you have, good luck, and go get drawing. Artists, the examples from Miss Eddington will be at the end of this video, and I will also include them as resource documents in my blog so you can access them there. And thanks again, Miss Eddington, for sharing those amazing resources. Right, guys, get started. Can't wait to see these self portrait cartoon characters of your likeness. Sorry. <laughs>